What is up guys, it's Jimbo here and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. Today we're talking about the disparity, the brand new 450 RPM uh, pulse rifle. It's a stasis pulse rifle from the season. I'm going to go through all the roles and also what I think of the weapon overall and what I would recommend picking it up. Sorry if these videos are a little bit kind of uh, by the book. Uh, it's literally just me telling you what I think is good and what I think you should be picking up on it. So yeah. If these videos help, please make sure you leave a like on the videos and subscribe as well. But let's jump into the disparity. So the disparity is a 450 RPM pulse rifle. It's an aggressive burst, which means it has four bullets when it bursts instead of three. And it's a pretty nice, well-rounded uh, overall uh, pulse rifle. I've already gone over some of the origin perks, but a quick uh, uh, recap for this origin perk. Basically, you get increased handling, damage and range during the opening moments of an engagement so maybe it's a little bit like how opening shot is i'm not entirely sure and then the other one is hack a breach um, armaments which is you do increase damage to um, turrets barricades stasis and uh, vehicles so yeah let's have a look into the uh, perk pool on the weapon if you want to know how to get yourself your hands on uh, the disparity any of the uh, seasonal activity uh, stuff that will give you um, the seraphic weapons is where it's going to drop so the vendor will get them from rewards you can get the archelos weapons there you get the seraphic weapons from uh, the umbra focus in here and then you can get them on the reward track as well but it is also craftable to pay attention to that as well so the disparity is obviously craftable so it means all of the left hand column perks are going to be easy to get because that's what you're going to be wanting now, for this weapon specifically, I don't necessarily think this will be the best uh, pulse rifle in the game when it comes to uh, PvE. Even though it has some top tier PvE perks on it, I think it's going to be very good in PvE, uh, or PvP I should say. Uh, but that is uh, up to testing. But if you want to go for a PvE role, I would highly recommend a couple of different options. There's Pugilist, which allows you to get uh, final blows. Uh, increases your uh, melee energy similar to how demolitionist works um, which is pretty darn good and this would obviously pair quite well with swashbuckler if you were going to go with that that's a really good combo there in the right hand column we also have rapid hit which will increase its stability and reload speed which uh, it doesn't really need a lot of stability on the weapon um, but the reload speed would be pretty nice as well you could also go with outlaw which precision kills increase the reload time it's always pretty good as well uh, and then lastly you can have moving target especially if you just want to have that better uh, target acquisition too but in the right hand column there's loads of different options and this is why i'm saying it's 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 just balanced across the board because there's head seeker which increases your body so, uh, body shot damage uh, into precision damage there's also frenzy 15 percent damage buff there's headstone if you want to use this with stasis there's one for all if you want to use this uh, to get even more damage out there's swashbuckler and then there's desperado and kill clip now i'd love to try this weapon out with desperado because reloading after a precision final blow increases the rate of fire this gun already fires at 450 rpm and it fires four bursts uh, or four uh, four bullets per burst so i'd love to see what this will do when uh you use desperado on it i haven't had a chance to test it out myself but i think it's going to be pretty darn good and i think i would actually recommend this something like rapid hit desperado or outlaw desperado could be absolutely insane and pretty decent for for pvp especially i know it's not as good as it used to be but for pve it could be a sleeper pick but let's go over my final thoughts on the weapon so the disparity is a weird weapon it fires really well it's a nice feeling 450 and I do think it's going to have its place in the game. I don't know whether I'll be able to pick it over something like Smite of uh, Moraine. But that isn't necessarily fair to the weapon. I might craft this with uh, Desperado and Outlaw. And this thing could be an absolute monster in PvE. Especially endgame content as well. When going into uh, GMs and stuff. Uh, I'll definitely be uh, wanting to try this out. Especially if it's Stasis as well. Because I don't have... A good stasis pulse rifle in comparison to uh, once there's the syncopation but it's more of a random roll um, i know you can uh, get a crafted version of the syncopation 
but they're just, there's nothing quite as spicy as this weapon. Do I think it's going to be a meta pick? Probably. I might see a bunch of people using this in PvP because it's got a lot of good PvP roles. And this isn't really a PvP review, but it seems like pulse rifles are king for a lot of people uh, in the current sandbox. So maybe it's worth picking it up there but i would highly recommend picking this weapon up uh, in general it's craftable get all the patterns for it for the season and check it out and if this video has been helpful and uh, you want to stick around for more content please make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell as always and this has been it's jimbo and i'll see you in the next one